your country 1039 kgrt sam hunt for you and water under the bridge oops there we go time now for the question of the day buttons gotta love them yes it is time for our question of the day and you'd figure you know on tax day it'd be a tax question but it's not a tax question no it's not because it's a question about names i saw a story uh the other day where the daily mail says a grandmother who wishes to remain anonymous revealed her granddaughter's unique name the child's mother named named uh her avocado yes it's after her favorite food it's actually spelled a v a c u d d o so it's not necessarily avocado but it's avocado and uh the internet of course has just been going nuts yeah yeah the poor kid is doomed one person said or uh no stop it or uh, maybe her name is ava and avocado is a nickname i hope no apparently the name is avocado and uh i'm saying it avocado to avoid calling her avocado because you know i think her nickname should be ava and that'll be just fine right there but it got me thinking because i was once told by a history teacher of mine to look out for um unique names in history so that you could torture your kids with them later on i did not think that the people would be naming uh you know their kids after food items but you know i've i've seen worse i guess you could say and i can honestly say that when my son was born if it was a girl i would have argued for perfect gilliam yeah and uh, doctor who fans know perfect gilliam because uh, you know i wanted a perry p-e-r-i but uh yeah it, it turned out you know wasn't a girl I'm sure he's very happy about that. But, uh, yeah, uh, so I didn't really get to say in the name of that time, which is perfectly fine. But if it had been a girl, I'm still set on Perfect Gilliam. <laughs> so uh, what do you think? Do you know anyone with uh, unique names for their kids? Or do you know anyone with a unique name in general? You know, I think I've seen uh, some Misty Woods that was actually a real name once uh, and a few others. Uh, Rainy May, you remember Rainy? Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Do you know any uh, one with unique names for their kids, or someone in general that has a unique name? So, go ahead and let me know. It looks like uh, Annette's already answering online. Uh, Mary, what is that? Nori? Nori, I guess that is a unique name right there. Uh, but uh, once again, if you know any unique names that uh, some uh, parents have decided to go ahead and give their kids or to torture them with yeah go ahead and let me know that is our question of the day Five seven five five two three kgrt is the number and of course you can always uh, leave a comment on our social media pages as well but let me know your answers to our question of the day all right we are exclusively up on our social media pages right now so yeah question of the day do you know anyone that has a unique name or uh, has named their, their kids with unique names because you know avocado is uh just uh you know it doesn't sound that bad i think i mean i've seen some worse ones but it doesn't sound that bad as far as unique names go but uh yeah there's got to be a few that are out there uh, like, i i like unique names unique spellings i've said before if i were to have more kids if it was a boy i already had a name picked out it was going to be jason and that would be spelled j-a-c-e-n but i got that from a book and if you know which book i'm talking about um let's just put it and say that they are considered um expanded universe books not canon anymore thanks disney but uh yeah i would have used that one and like i said i'm still stuck on perfect gilliam for a uh a girl's name but uh somehow i doubt that that is uh, going to ever happen again Come on, Perry would have been a good name. It was Perfect Gilliam Perry for short. I think it would have been awesome. But uh, once again, do you have any uh, unique names that uh, you know that people have or that have given their kids? That is our question of the day. While we're waiting for a few more answers, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what's going on in and around the world. Sovereignty Magazine says that the average person spends $48 a month 
on video streaming services. 50% of people say that that's too much. And I say they're not trying hard enough because I think I'm paying way more than that. I really should keep an eye on that one. Also saw that David's Bridal has filed for bankruptcy for the second time in five years. David's is America's largest wedding dress retailer. The company plans to balance their financial sheets by firing over 9,000 employees. That's not good. Uh, I guess, uh, of course, uh, that one took a big hit during the pandemic for sure, and they're still trying to recover. Also saw that Domino's Pizza has released a new Mexican-inspired uh, pie called the Ultimate Chicken Mexicana. Uh, the pizza is topped with green jalapenos, crunchy onions, peppers, and spicy mayo drizzle. Sounds like a spicy pie. And uh, finally, I saw that Will Ferrell and Harry Styles are going to be James Corden's final guest on his last Late Late Show. That show is actually going to air on Thursday, April the uh, 27th. I heard that uh, Blackpink is going to be making an appearance on tonight's show. So uh, that'll be uh, pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I am a Blackpink fan. I'll admit that one. Online only. Only online. But once again, we are looking for your answers to our question of the day. You can call them in. You can uh, text them in. I think we got our text stuff uh, going to be ta getting taken care of. Uh, pretty soon here, but uh, leave a comment as well. Uh, do you know anyone with unique names for their kids? Remember that, of course, this comes from that little article that I saw where a uh, child was named Avocado. And uh, so I'm looking for any unique names. So uh, Jackie just ran in and dropped something off on my desk. I'm going to have to check out what that is. Let me know your answers to our question of 